Hello ladies and gentlemen, Brother Havoc here again, and this is my fitting video for the Wall Jumper. It's a Galente Assault Suit prototype, prototype of course. Um, it has three myofibril stimulants complex, and in the low slots it has four complex ferroscale plates and one complex MRAPR. I normally don't go for stacking of a single singular module like that. I mean, the myofibs are kind of one of those things where you have to stack, but I normally don't stack armor modules like that because of uh, the penalties and the fact that ferroscales don't normally give enough health, or there's more benefits to going, uh, you know, kind of a, a mixture of different modules. But anyway. Uh, it also has the, for equipment, it has the Alatech Nanohive, which is a triage and ammo uh, nanohive. Uh, I normally don't do that as well, but I figured with the uh, armor, high armor of the assault suit, it would probably be beneficial to give something that reps that a little bit. And the ammo, of course, is always just helpful because I'm using the Duval assault rifle, which is a rapid fire assault rifle. You can, you know, you can throw away your bullets real fast. So it's beneficial to have ammo coming back to you anyway. Uh, for a sidearm, I also have the uh, Calcioto Bolt Pistol, mostly because of its high damage fire. Also because I've really preferred that. I mean, you can't really use a scram pistol. I can't use it too accurately, I should say, uh, aiming for people's heads, but I can do the same amount of damage with a Bolt Pistol on a regular basis. So it's better for me. Uh, I also have the Core Locust Grenade, and that's just because I designed the suit to be to uh, kill other players. It's it's one of my first Slayer suits, I guess you could say. I normally actually go for something that's a little bit more beneficial to the team, like an AV fitting suit or a logistic suit, or my uh, Scout Runner suits, or even my uh, Scout E-War suits. But it's just something I want to try a little different. Actually, technically, I just want this part. Eh, melee. Uh, but technically, it's just... This suit was actually an idea from someone else, and I was trying to replicate that suit, and I didn't know the person, and I don't know who he was, or, you know, I never I never had any kind of speaking roles with him, but he interested me. He was using a Galente assault suit, which was running faster than my Amar assault suit. I mean, really fast, you know, something that was more noticeable, um, but he had 740 points of armor. Now, as of yet, I haven't been able to figure out the combination of low slot modules that would actually give me 740 points of armor. Uh, it might be something that's got with skill bonuses that I don't that I already have surpassed. I don't know. But technically, this suit is actually a failure as far as copying what that guy had. Um, I used the myofibril stimulants as a wall jumper r rather than a. Uh, uh, getting yourself to a higher position or just jumping away from people's bullets or whatever. Uh, mostly for the fact that uh, the ability to jump over obstacles makes it far more difficult for players to try to kill me. Uh, it's, it allows you to get into better positions. It allows you to avoid uh, positions that would, you know, make you a bullet magnet. So it's bit, bit makes it makes it makes it a bit easier to survive. I'm tongue tied here. Okay, um, I, I use the Duval assault rifle though, mostly a personal preference, uh, that and the bolt pistol. Uh, I was trying to figure out a suit that would use the assault rifle more often, and Galente assault suits get bonus to hip fire dispersion, which, you know, decreases the, uh, the hit rate, the, uh, rate of fire, not rate of fire, the, uh, reticule you'll see in the screen. So that doesn't really affect me too often, to be honest, but it's just kind of one of those deals where, you know, it didn't really matter. Ah, okay. What else? So the obvious benefits are being able to be m more maneuverable, to jump over covers, to get out of the fights more and more. Uh, because you're using the ferro scales, there's no damage to your maneuverability. There's no damage to your uh, jump height. There's n nothing. There's no penalty. Is what I'm trying to say as far as that's concerned. Uh, the armor repper gives you enough reps to survive for a little bit longer than normal, but of course the Alatech Nano Hives cover that much more preferable because of those, uh, I think it's like 25 per second uh, armor reps bonuses. The myofibril stimulants, rather than just jumping, also give you the melees, which I'm very fond of. I've been, I've been using the melees for quite some time, even before the jump uh, feature was added to them. And I've always found it funny, and I've always liked doing it. So, you know, it's kind of one of those things where I just continue to practice I've already had. I, I, I don't know what to say about this suit, actually. There, there's many things that I dislike about it, actually. Uh, because of the stacked 
armor plate, uh, Pharaoh skill plates, I should say. There's a lot of modules that I, I'm not able to take into account or uh, take advantage of. I like using King Cats. I like using Cardios from time to time. I, I like the E War and the low slots, profile dampeners, and range bonuses. Uh, I actually would probably have put on two more uh, armor reppers and armor plates or reactive plates instead if. Uh, I was making my own suit, but as I said, this was trying to replicate someone else's suit, which is where the name Stolen comes from, but of course that's not true, because it's my own take on someone else's suit kind of thing. Uh, I may be completely wrong. I may need like a combination of plates and reactives and ferroscales scales in order to actually get that 740 armor. But I haven't figured out what the combination is yet. I did pretty well with the suit, actually, and I've begun to use it during PC battles. I actually just came from a PC battle where I was using it completely, like, entirely. So, obviously, it has a lot of benefits, especially when it comes to slaying p players instead of just, you know, holding a position or whatever. Uh, but as you can see around here, until I actually got away from the turret, it did a fairly good job holding a single position. Because of your ability to jump over obstacles, you, you can annoy and constantly keep players from hacking certain things. From hacking the objectives, from hacking the turrets, from providing any kind of uplinks or uh, armor reps or anything like that. It's, in all, in all, all around, it's a good skirmishing suit. And because of, its, you know, as I said, the lack of penalty, you can move or maneuver between the objectives far more easily than the other suits that I have. Um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of fitting video a bit better. Uh, if not, please let me know in the comments. I've been getting a bunch of dislikes recently on my videos, but no one's been commenting about why they dislike the video. If, you know, you provide more comments about my videos, I have the ability to adjust more and more. I'm not saying that this is, you know, completely your job. Of course, it's my job to adjust my videos as I see people watching or not watching certain things. But, you know, this is something that they'll try a little different. I previously tried to do a bunch of different videos. Of tried to, or a bunch of, I tried to do a bunch of different games to get a bunch of footage to get, you know, to choose between certain spots to highlight pinpoints that I wanted to follow, you know, like what benefits and so on and so forth. And this time I'm going a bit more lax, a bit more easier. Uh, mostly so that I can lighten the load on myself because I've been having more of a difficult time with time constraints being more of a thing recently in my life. But, uh, I mean, on all, on all, I think this is not a bad idea, and if you do agree with me, then, you know, by all means, continue watching my videos, maybe comment if you like. And, of course, in the descriptions, uh, leave any fittings that you would like me to test, or any ideas that you want me to try. Um, I'm always looking for different suits to try out, and, of course, a lot of, player, a lot of people have been giving me the ideas, and the most interesting ones I try to choose from, but, you know, of course, I can't get to every fitting as fast as possible, so I ask for a little bit of leniency. Uh, I hope that's everything. Uh, I might have forgotten something, I don't know, but I hope you enjoyed the show, and as always, I'm Brother Pavic. Have a nice night, pleasant dreams.